Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. This is Dr. Blakeney and I am at the George W. Bush Institute just outside, um, maybe actually in Dallas at, on the campus or right next to the campus of SMU, Southern Methodist University. Uh, president Bush was the president from 2000 until 2008. He was a Republican sandwiched in between President Clinton and President Obama. Uh, his presidency, uh, I'm trying to remember as I was coming up here, I was trying to remember things I remember, uh, started with 9-11 uh, and the terrorist attack in New York City. And then um, after that, we had the invasions of Afghanistan, the weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. His uh, Bush versus Gore was a, uh, to get him in office uh, in 2000 was probably the closest election of any president uh, ever. It came down to Florida. Uh, there was some controversy, uh, went to the Supreme Court, and eventually uh, he did become president. Other than that, I'm kind of drawing a blank. His vice president was Dick Cheney, so we'll probably learn a little bit about him. So let's go in the museum now, and we'll see uh, a little bit more about President George W. Bush, whose father, George uh, Herbert Walker Bush, uh, was President Reagan's vice president, and he served one term before President Clinton. All right, see you in a minute. Bye-bye. So George W. Bush grew up in a political family. His father, George H. W. Bush, as I mentioned before, uh, was the president. And his brother in the middle and the bottom, Jeb Bush, was the governor of California. In order to get elected, George W. Bush fought one of the most controversial elections in history. It came down to these hanging chads and who voted for who, uh, but eventually he won the presidency. During his presidency, one of the things he focused on was education with the No Child Left Behind uh, program. And his wife, Laura Bush, was a former school teacher herself. Uh, shortly into his presidency, 9-11 happened, and that was a big focus of his presidency. Uh, he spent a lot of time and energy tracking down the combatants, the uh, Taliban and Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan and Iraq. And we talked about weapons of mass destruction. He eventually attacked Saddam Hussein and captured him in Iraq. I believe he was in a well uh, near a farm uh, on a farm somewhere. Uh, his presidency did not end very well. We had a financial crisis. One of the things politicians will always say, it's the economy, stupid. Uh, so the economy was not doing well. The uh, financial crisis happened and he uh, was not able. Uh, his, his presidency did not end very well. One of the things that I found really interesting was uh, his telephone and all the different people he had access to. Two. Uh, you look there, it says 41. That is his dad. Once he uh, left the presidency of the United States, he went back to Crawford, Texas, where he currently lives. Uh, he's painted and become kind of a uh, symbol of somebody who is a pretty happy-go-lucky guy uh, who helps out when he needs to. So his post-presidency has been pretty uh, positive, all in all. And that's about it for this museum. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the classroom soon. Take care.